he has something that he most definitely wants to say, not sure who it's to. It turned out it would be a criminal profiler called Anthony Mioli, who first wrote Glenn in 2009. He was trying to figure out what could turn a man into a killer, and Glenn began sending letters back to him. Over the past two and a half years, we've been writing on a regular basis. It took about six or seven months before I received my first initial breakthrough. Rogers had revealed to me a traumatic childhood event that occurred with his father around 1975 or 1976, putting him around 13 years of age. And he went into great detail. It was the 1970s. I was forced to go to work every day at 3.30 p.m. with my dad, who was a janitor for the United Way in Hamilton, Ohio. On many days, he would bring a lady back with him and go to the basement. On one night, he did the same. Earlier, Mom had called about 10 times. I said he was outside working. She called me a liar and cussed me out over and over again. A while later, the lady came up from the basement and says, your dad wants to drink from the jug. The phone was ringing nonstop. She grabbed my face cheeks and says, you be a good boy. I said, you ain't my mom. You're a damn whore. She said, your mother's a stupid bitch and walked down the hallway. I got really, really pissed and the damn phone was still ringing. I jumped up, ran down the short hallway and pushed her from the back down the basement steps. Then out of fear from hearing my dad yell, I ran and hid in the closet. I heard screaming and yelling and then all of a sudden it went quiet. It seems like forever. Then my dad calls my name. You good for mother bastard? You done it now. You kill her. She's laying on the floor. I couldn't tell if there was blood on the floor or if it was wine. He said, boy, we gotta, gotta clean up this mess. I kept saying, you can't tell anyone or they will put you in prison and beat you every day. I felt scared, but good also. It was the first conversation I ever had with my dad in a strange way. It changed things forever. We got her to put her in the trunk of an 88 Oldsmobile. We cross the Kentucky Bridge into Kentucky. The dad pulls over, drags her, and carries her to the side of the road. Comes back, shuts the trunk, and gets in the car. He says, boy, a snitch is worst kind of person. When we get home, you don't say a word. But what he didn't know is I wanted to brag to mom and say, I killed that bitch for you. She called you a name, but I knew better. After this, Dad didn't take me to work anymore, didn't even look at me. He said, boy, you're no good. I can't take you anywhere. It wasn't any time before I stopped being scared. I hated everyone in our home. I spent the next few years taking it out on other people. If someone didn't like me, I didn't care. I just hated them more. To this day, I don't know if I killed her when she fell down the stairs or if he did, but I was made to believe I did it your friend, Ben Rogers.